We have a history of women in black against Milosevic, against fascism. We have a history of different, uh, of going to the streets, and it was never like this. In 2001, Belgrade's Republic Square was staged the first gay pride parade, which ended violently. Nationalist movements called to violence against all kinds of minorities and labelled homosexuality as a disease coming from the West. Lepa Mladenovic, who works for the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender's Rights for more than 20 years, was one of the organisers. That's how it started. It was uh, before the time, how to say. If we set up on 12, this was even before that time it all started. And then all these choruses of fascists saying, kill, kill a gay, kill, kill a gay. That was all the time. So that is how it was really very fearful, very fearful, and very fearful. Nowadays, the scene has changed. There are some organizations whose work is to defend the LGBT's rights. Last year uh, we saw the, the political readiness to organize that kind of event, unlike uh, the year 2009, when it, uh, it was the lack of the political will to organize the Pride March, which I think this is a very, very good sign. And we will have Pride already this year. But it's not only about associations. Public figures like Mirjana Karanovic use their voice to help the fight. Uh, there's a, still a, um, a great animosity uh, to any any kind of uh, difference. Um, so people are here, especially young people, are ready to 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 show a, a aggressive behavior to anybody who is is not uh, like them. And where do you so see the gay and lesbian community is one of the one of the main uh, targets. Um. However, the gay community experiences things differently. I mean, it depends how you look at it. Maybe it's better in terms of clubs and stuff. You know, like gay people have more places to go to and to maybe even to be like more open in the streets, but when it comes to the gay parade, it's not acceptable. I really don't feel safe uh, here. I mean, uh, it's just that I, I got used to it and I don't think about that so much, but there's uh, a lot of times where, where uh, when I feel really uncomfortable on the street, even if I'm just walking or doing, I don't know, anything like going to the club or whatever. Despite all the work that needs to be done, things are going in a good direction. I have uh, this hope that uh, things are improving slowly, step by step, one small step. It's still a hard times here, but um, I think, I hope the things will change, yeah. I'm feminist, lesbian activist. Uh, that means we live on hope. I live on vision. I love to imagine that lesbians and gays and trans and bi's and queers live uh, in happiness and freedom. Uh, I just wanted to be there and I wanted to show uh, my support and I wanted to show my opinion, but it was also very scary because uh, of a uh, lot of police and a lot of riots around the town. Stim da sem bio v obezbeđenju, rade. Znači, katastrofa. Ne znam, to mi je očajno. Ne znam, neću to. Ne znam. Ne znam. 
Ja sam po zanimanju lekar i kad sam ja studirala i učila, to se smatralo da je to patološka pojava. Pa svakog treba obrazovati pa i na taj način, tako. We are fighting for their rights, but it's not like, it's a difficult fight. Nećemo tati tati. Bog je stvorio Adamo i Evo, a ne Adamo i Stevo.